Hi, this is Matthew R. Stover. I'm here to give you another tech tip for a better life. I'm here today at the Co-op Cafe in historic downtown Fort Pierce. They serve wonderful local, raw, organic food, juices, smoothies, and spirits. Come check out the Co-op Cafe here in downtown Fort Pierce. Today, I tell you why you need to get rid of that paper calendar and move to Google Calendar. Let's get it started. Google Calendar allows you to easily create events and tasks that you can access anywhere with an internet connection. The main part of Google Calendar is its website, which is google.com slash calendar. Also, if you have an Android device, Google Calendar is preloaded onto that device. Now, the main hallmark feature of Google Calendar is essentially having a paper calendar whenever, wherever you are that has an internet connection. So you can have it on your phone, or let's say you're at your friend's house and you need to see your next event. You can also access it from their computer. Another incredible feature of Google Calendar is the ability to share calendars or events and tasks with other people. And you do that by one or two ways. You can either send an invitation or an RSVP by email to a friend of yours, or you can create a separate calendar and you can share that entire calendar with someone else. The very simple thing you have to do is to create a task or an event. You simply enter the title of the event. Let's say you have concerts you have to go to. The next thing you have to do is select the from date and time along with the to date and time. The reminder feature is really neat. If your phone is connected to your Google account, you can have your reminders sent to you by text message. Also, on the location, this also automatically syncs up with the Google Maps feature. If the concert is at the Sunrise Theater in downtown Fort Pierce, it'll automatically search Google Maps and give you the address for that concert. Here, you can add a description, just in case there's a description that you need to put together. So in the participants section, you can put the email address of everyone who should know about this event. And then after you create the event, it can send an email reminding them of the event you shared with them. It will also, if you're sharing a calendar, it will also automatically show up in their calendar. Press save and the event is saved. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Matthew R. Stover's Tech Tip for a Better Life. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave some comments in the comments section. Also, I have some other great videos of great tech tips that you should know. Please check those out as well. And of course, if you like what you see, please feel free to share this video with as many people as you would like and also subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Matthew R. Stover. See you soon.